Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering a very underrated Disney movie, Chicken, Chicken Little. Little. This movie is based on the old fable of the same name, and it follows Chicken Little wanting to prove that the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Only this time he's right, and there's an alien invasion on the way. Right. <laughs> and at first, you know, the movie, you know, follows the pattern of... Uh, the sky is falling, but it turned out just to be an acorn, and then he just gets ridiculed. And you hear they take it to the nth degree, and he they like a two a year or two later, and they're still making fun of him that uh, oh he thought the sky was falling. They made a movie out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all great. They made a movie. You got the merchandise. You got all this. Like, well, he should be getting paid for this ridicule. Then <laughs> I loved this movie. I thought it was so entertaining. It was so much fun. And it was interesting how they took some little concept like this and made an entire movie out of it. It was yeah. just, I thought it was brilliant. I know you said that um, in the long run, there's people that don't care for it, but I don't yeah, see how because I loved it, and so did you. Yeah, it's considered the one of the wor It's the lowest point of Disney because this was like the first. CGI movie that they made without the help of Pixar and a lot of people say it shows because of the plot line and the characters uh, Chicken Little's dad being very unlikable and this was a point where Disney was starting to actually run out of money to produce a lot of the movies. They started doing lower budget films with this and Home on the Range and both movies were panned but it got them enough money and then they started doing a whole slew of sequel movies to, other, to their original hits and classics that didn't even need sequels. Some got three movies, some got just one extra, and a majority of them did not have the same charm as the original. And Chicken Little and Home on the Range fall in that category of something Disney, one of Disney's lowest uh, rated movies ever. You know what I say? Give me some more low of the low for Disney because I right. love this. I thought it was brilliant and fun. And it wasn't meant to be cerebral thought-provoking it was meant to be fun right taking something that you know is known was known by I guess decades and decades of kids everywhere right. and making a full-length movie on it that was entertainment with a fun lesson and it's exactly what it did if you were wanting Shakespeare or, or something cerebral or introspective then you come to the wrong place right and it's really fun how they set up the world of all these little farm animals and the pun names. Some of them rhyme and some of them are just, you get what they are. The Goosey little, Lucy. They are the exact interpretation of the Foxy name. Loxy. Right, and then they have Turkey one. Turkey Lurkey. Then the one, the, long, the one was the long, the long winded one. We said Morcupine, Porcupine. And he was the cool one. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, did you? What was that one? And with the movie, it kind of starts out. You know, he's still ridiculed and stuff, and being made fun of. A year or two later, after his little accident, thinking mm -hmm. the sky was falling, then this baseball game comes up, and he proves, you know, he's not a failure. He's not a loser because he didn't give up the whole time. Mm -hmm. And then you know, it's finally looking better. And then one night. The sky falls on him for real <laughs> and it's actually a piece of the sky and when they go to investigate what it is it turns out it's a piece of an alien spacecraft that's planning to invade earth and they're like oh oh the sky was falling and then and then you know they thought oh no he's back at it again and then when the aliens do come like oh god he was right <laughs> it's okay we get him you were right you were right <laughs> And I really loved also, they had some really huge, big name stars. Of course, we have to mention Adam West first. Yes. And he was the Hollywood chicken little at the end of the movie. Yes. And he had Zach Braff, who was really huge at that time from um, the television show Scrubs. Mm -hmm. uh, you had Gary Marshall, huge producer, director, uh, Hollywood royalty. You had Don Knotts, which was incredible. Right. You had Captain Jean-Luc Picard, Patrick Stewart. Uh, Amy Zadaris, Zadaris, she was pretty big during that time. So was Steve Zahn. So was Jean, uh, sorry, Joan Cusack. Mm -hmm. And then you had uh, Fred Willer, who you know who's done some animated voices. Catherine O'Hara, the mom from Home Alone. Right. So it's you just, really just had wow. a whole lot of people in here that were just 
it was just hilarious mm -hmm. and funny and were perfect for the role. Right. And we definitely got to mention, you know, when this alien invasion happens, they're thinking everyone's getting evaporated and everyone's freaking <laughs> out. There's this little alien they have to get back to them that got lost and that's why they're invading to find the one that was uh, accidentally on left on Earth when they were there. And you get you do get the reveal of why they were there in the first place, but when you didn't know, it's just like, it just went wonky with that. Mm. And at the end of the movie, we know everything's over and they said well, you think they'll turn this sto this story into a movie so one thing you know about Hollywood they always get the details right and they went from a uh, small peaceful town getting invaded by aliens to Chicken Little being a giant muscle bound <laughs> rooster space explorer adventure saving the universe from galactic invaders it was Star Trek with chickens Adam West was Chicken Little who oh. didn't have pants on and like like homework pulled into underpants and it was just like okay what the it just went just bonkers like at the very end but it was still just so much fun to watch yes. and I think it's just interesting that critics and people said this is the lowest because, again, I also liked Home on the Range. I thought it was funny and amusing and it's just it was fun. Right. I it think was strange but fun. Is, these movies are meant to be just fun, to entertain, to have you laugh, cry, hurl like um, Wayne's World, and you just love the action in it and the, you know, the tongue-in-cheek humor. Right. And... You, it's just meant to be enjoyed. And right. I absolutely positively enjoyed it. I know we've seen this numerous times. And I will be more than happy to watch it again. Right. So I really wish Disney would give us some more movies like this. Even if they were straight to video movies, I wouldn't right. care. I would love to see more of this type of animated humor just for the sake of making a movie that's fun. I would love to have more. Yes, and this was, yeah, like you said, it's considered bad, but really it's underrated, underappreciated. Mm -hmm. And I know the one thing that was like the standout thing the most for critics and animation reviewers was Chicken Little's dad, Buck, because he just kind of, it seemed like he just gave up on him mm -hmm. from the time that the accident happened all the way to the game he d he doesn't believe him when he tells him is you know this ha this happened for real you got to believe me and you know he does learn his lesson in the end that you know he should have more faith in his son but it just seemed like for a lot of people it was too little too late it was just like you put him down all this time you didn't encourage but you him you know you watch this in a stuff. lot of live action mil right films. so it's really nothing that i was going to say movies and films Films, television shows, is nothing we haven't seen before. Right. What is it about this particular movie that makes it so unforgivable? I don't know. But you see this all the time. Right. And again, it was another lesson. When your kids tell you something, believe it. All built into this humorous backdrop. So, right. So, I know you, most of you probably have seen Chicken Little. And if you haven't, you really are missing out on something and you should watch it. Right. It's a really fun movie. Definitely recommend it. Just want to laugh and just have a great time. Sin with the family. <laughs> now, let me ask you this, because it came out in 2005. You were very little. How would you compare it to the first time you saw it, if you can remember, versus the last time we viewed it, uh, when being a teen? I think it still holds up in terms of the comedy and stuff. You might kind of notice some minor things dated just a little bit because the time it came out and they didn't have Pixar, you know, behind it. So you could notice a little bit of differences between your first watching. You're going to notice things that you didn't notice before, like in the dialogue or in the humor or in something. But I still think it's a fun watch. The enjoyment, it might be slightly different because might be some jokes you did or didn't get a little mm -hmm. that you will get now. Right. And even if you catch a few errors or stuff that's Especially like, Especially with eh. the shit between he and, and was it Fox name? And... Abby. I think yeah, it was Abby. Abby. Yeah. You, yeah. And if you do know some of these things are kind of minor, you still can enjoy the movie with the faults because it does have faults, but it's nothing to the extent that the critics are making more. It's like one of the worst movies Disney has ever had. Abby Mallard, she's the only one that didn't have right. a rhyming right. name. Right, but you knew by her look she was supposed to be the ugly duckling and they didn't even, like, they, like, didn't want to say that, like, you know which one she's supposed to be. It was obvious. <laughs> Joan Cusack was wonderful. Right. So again, if you haven't seen this movie, watch it, and if you have, let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you really think this was a Disney low point and this is a movie that shouldn't have been made? Or like me, would you love 
love to see more of these type of movies made, even if they're straight to video, just meant to be fun with some lessons built in. Right. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Mask Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. <laughs> for real this time. And the water sitting, flashing lights. Trying to walk around, man. Who the hell are you? What you want to do? My man, it's on you. Man, it's on you. And in my dreams. She was my queen. Castle in the mountaintops, rivers and streams. Fucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket. Give it to you.